All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We have found cherry blossoms. Oh, I'm so excited. Cherry saplings, cherry logs. And I was just getting into saying where I grew up, we learned to respect nature. Not saying that anyone else didn't. That almost looks like a swastika. Um, anyways, uh, no, like we had a saying in Colorado, like, leave it as you found it. And I know it's not exclusive to Colorado. It's exclusive to anybody who likes to go out into nature. I used to go to Oregon a lot as a kid, and they love their nature up there. And they also have one of the largest organisms, I think the largest organism, in the entire world living underneath the ground, underground there. It's a giant mushroom network, but it is one single organism. So anyways, um, and I'm, I'm watching Gravity Falls right now on, on the Disney Plus. See, there's a little advertising. Um, which, oh, and that's why I say, remind people, these tools are always going to be free as long as like YouTube is free. I mean, which it is. You pay in ads. You pay with your time, your opportunity costs of the time that you spend watching their ads or having it play while you go do something else. But I'll tell you what, they do work because my kids, like, are, they were all about Prime. <laughs> like, so I bought, like, several cases of Prime until they got burned out on it. And it really is more of a sports drink. And it's expensive, but I don't know. I mean, but, like, the dude's selling them, like, bottles for ridiculous amounts. So I would like to see what he does with that money because that's the other thing i see this other there's this one youtuber that he's got, oh, he's got this massive mansion and like flaunting his cars but it's like oh he hasn't seen like the rest of the world yet i mean he hasn't had and again like if they haven't gone to college or they haven't taken mine was sociology where i saw the horrors of darfur or darfur I, I still don't know how it's pronounced but it's a place in africa where they had child soldiers killing each other and you want to talk about gun violence in our schools in America? They got kids killing each other. Like, like it's a game. And that's why some people are, are against, you know, violent video games. And anybody, you know, who knows me and my channel, like, knows that I love violent video games. However, I, I understand that they're fiction. Granted, if Bloodborne were to become true, like, if there really were monsters like that, grant, oh, now. Now, is it real or is it perceived reality, too? So I would also know that, you know, the mind can be a fragile thing if certain substances are at play, specifically psychotropics that can induce psychosis. You know, you kind of get a flashback of the jo or the scarecrow in the Batman movie pouring the, the crazy drugs in the water supply. Well, yeah, we've got them in a psych, psych clinics and psych wards. And they have the Thorazine shuffle where it's basically like a, a lobotomy while you're taking it. All the drugs are. They, they're, they try to balance out the psyche, which basically is like a lobotomy or at least a period of lobotomizing. Um just so they can assess the damage and see where to go from there. So they need to make a clean palette by basically wiping your brain, like doing a brain elizer for Men in Black almost. I mean, it's not really that severe, but... Whew. And I can tell you, yeah, I've been on some psych drugs uh, in the past. Did some therapy. You know, I had some family loss close to home, and, you know, so I did do some counseling as a kid. And when I was older, more older, I did some more counseling and, like, had some... Uh, Psych drugs. Oh, there's more spike ice spike biomes. Nice. Might be the same one we've already seen. Anyways, my point is, is I've seen it. I've done seen what it does. I understand what it does. That's why I speak on authority with that. Now, not all authority. I don't have a degree in psychiatric work or psychiatry or counseling or therapy. Although, wait, no, I do have training in substance abuse, addiction, recovery therapy. <laughs> Oh, so wait a minute. I do know how people think and talk and feel and um, interact and socialize. And oh, you know, and I did the Van Wilder approach to college and I was much like Van Wilder, like the fixer, the, you know, the, the shaker, the mover, the hookup, like, I'm oh, just kidding, the party people. And that is a very easily niche or it's a niche that a lot of people easily fall into when they go to college is because there's all these new resources, all of these new areas of resources like vectors of supply and demand and all of this stuff like you know because then you've got bars you've got drinking you've got you know you've got marijuana you've got like you know and cultivation and then brewing your own beer we brewed our own beer for a little bit there and it's like and csu has oh they have a whole degree on like mixology 101 no, it's not called mixology but it is like um how to brew and run beer and alcohol industry type things like goods and services. So how to produce your own alcohol, be a brewmaster. And that is like one of my favorite characters in Warcraft. Like they have the brewmaster, which is like this uh, Scottish panda 
kind of character. And he's hilarious. He just drinks a lot and he like brews. And and even Dark Souls has it. Like they have um you know, like sit and have a beer with me. And that's fine. Like alcohol isn't the devil. It's just there are situations and events that could lead up to it becoming a problem. You know, just like the you know, the pedophilia in the Catholic Church. Like these are the people that are supposed to be of the highest moral authority, and that's why we distrust the church. I mean, me, not so much. Like the Catholic Church, yeah, a little, just because they're slow to act on updating their beliefs. Now, you know, some people even hearing that would be saying, like, oh, you can't just rewrite the Bible. Who are you? You know, like God, you know, no, don't have to be. All we have to do is realize, like, first thing, the easiest thing to point out is, like, they didn't have contraceptives in the biblical times. Like, when you um, did some things, then you were basically guaranteed to have kids. So, um, Sorry, trying not to do the birds and the bees in these things, just in case any kids stumble across these, because it is a Minecraft video. But, um, and I do share like a bunch of cutesy Minecraft things, and so that's why I'm kind of like worried. Is like, oh, that's so cute. And then like some of my most popular videos were like the axolotls, and like I, I worry that like, I don't know, it's ah ah, because this is like almost like watching South Park, watching some of these videos. Not really, but I mean, if you're paying attention to the words. Like, and if you can understand and comprehend and then connect the dots and then, but I guess it's not as dangerous as like Jesse Ventura rattling off because just right there, I feel like I almost fact checked what he was saying and that Bush and Cheney aren't allowed to travel to other countries. So right there and no fault of Jesse Ventura's. I've, I like a lot of his stuff. Like I saw the stuff where he, he went up and investigated Harp up in uh, wherever. And again, sorry, this might be like, you know, we shouldn't speak too much about what the U.S. could be doing, but... We're people. We're people trying to help people live better lives. Now, we're focusing on ourselves first. Half of our country is all about America first. And that's understandable. China's trying to look out for China, but China's also doing things for Africa. But they can't pay for all of it, so they're letting Africa kind of loan out stuff. Which, think about it. When you're a kid, and you know, if you have a friend that doesn't have lunch money for whatever reason, maybe they spent it, maybe they got bullied, maybe their parents can't afford it, whatever the reason, doesn't matter it's still your friend and they're hungry so you know a lot of times like if i was a kid i'd at least give them something i would sometimes i would roll my eyes if it was like the fifth or sixth time it happened and which sucks because again i don't know if their parents just can't afford food all i see it is is like oh i have something i was given something oh now it's being taken away and that that's friction that doesn't feel good and then you you know we say that but then we say oh like the ukraine thing like let's explore the option that the elections were rigged Let's just explore that option because, again, you know, Russia and MAGA were working pretty closely together with, uh, you know, they say there's no collusion. Oh, yes, there was definitely collusion. Um, it just wasn't prosecuted. It just wasn't sought out or whatever. I was watching some stuff about that and reading up on it. And, like, and also I was taught in a cybersecurity class that, oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like that's like death, like it's gonna start killing me. And I do not wanna lose these tools. So, survival. And even if it's not death, like it's bad, I don't wanna, you know. Anyways. It's funny, just like how like I, I don't mind getting hurt. Like m my kids, when they first started playing this, they, if they got hurt, they would just freak out. They thought it was like the same as dying or it was just really bad. But then they started to learn that like, oh no, this warning symbol or this warning indicator light, which is where you well, let's show you. You turn red, and then, in fact, you can even do this way. Although, actually, I was going to bridge across. Let's bridge across for convenience, and then... Or wait, I can just do this. <laughs> oh, oops. But now I have a replicable experiment to show you. You turn red. See, so it looks bad. It looks dangerous. It's like, oh no, red, like warning. But then you find out, oh no, that's not that bad. Actually, let's go ahead and use this up. Let's toss the bowl. Goodbye. <laughs> that's littering. So right there. But see, in this game, it does decompose. So it's like tossing a banana peel or an orange peel, which still isn't good. Oh, whoops. Can I even do this? Ah, <laughs> that was dumb. 
Uh, so the path block is lower. Now I gotta do it anyway. Oh well. Let's go ahead and gather up some dirt. So I'm just gonna tower up. <laughs> Until I can... Yep, so you can just keep jumping and then... I love the music too. It's so, so festive. It's like it reminds me of Christmas almost, but then, you know, or just like the winter holiday, the winter solstice. Cause like even went back when it was pagan and all that. And that's the funny thing too, is like people like to forget that Christianity used Christmas as a way to whitewash and erase pagan history. Like, <laughs> so for all of my viewers outside, Oh wait, did I, I don't think I have the alarm set. We're, we're now 11 minutes in. I've just been having too much fun with this. Yeah, we're at 11.13. Oh, it needs to be at 11.30. About. 33. Back to Freemasonry. So, toy myth. Yeah, that's close enough. So, anyways, Christmas. So, the idea of Christmas was to wipe out pagan ideology. Christianity was supposed to reign supreme. All oh, more cherry blossoms. Nice. Um, and, yeah, we, we, we know this as a fact so, and even if, you know, God is real and all that, and again, I say if, because I'm a skeptical person, formerly, formerly known as someone who practiced Christianity, but now skeptical in science. Anyways, I, I hate that I have to keep saying that, but almost any time I discuss religion, I just feel like I got to just point that out, be like, so I don't really believe it right now, but I wouldn't be surprised. Because that's the other thing too, like say we're sitting in like a, a dentist chair, like anybody who's seen a... <clears throat> well, the Matrix, the Matrix thinks that, you know, what if you're sitting in a pod and like this is all controlled and it doesn't matter what's real, like your God, your creator and your destroyer is like some machine that's like controlling you. Uh, and that's the fear of AI too, is like, you know, the whole Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's why Arnold was famous originally, was from Terminator. Because it was, it was a scary concept. Like we like these machines, like we were, they were making like VCRs and video cameras and being able to record like in color and in sound. And they're like, whoa, like we can create ourselves, but we can tell it's not ourselves. And then from there spawned a myriad of uh, different ideas and different stories and different creative works and content where people were making up these stories where it was like, well, well, basically Twilight Zone. And now we have Black Mirror to really drive it home. Um, but then even that, it's still not as freaky as the matrix. Like the matrix is like just the easiest one to be like the ultimate. I mean, Terminator is freaky because then it's like, okay, what if the machines kill us? What if they're robot exterminators or terminators that come and kill us? Well, okay. And then South Park even has an episode where Cartman becomes, um, he becomes a Terminator. He starts killing everybody, and he's like artificial intelligence. He's like, we are Trapper Keeper. We are one. And it's Trapper Keeper mixed with a human AI, Cartman's brain. And Cartman is such a little racist neo-Nazi anyway, where it's just like, oh, yeah, it's hilarious. Scary. And, you know, and the kids save the day, of course. But... Anyway, that's why I just love, like, I think I've graduated from Christianity to South Parkism. In fact, my Facebook for the longest time had religion of Cartman, just as my religion. Because <laughs> it is. It's the religion of common sense, George Carlin, Cartman, all these comedians back in the day. Because that is the nature of a comedian. Is they like to poke fun at things, kind of mock things, to make us laugh at them. But that at the same time, they are kind of like hacktivists. And I'm not a hacktivist, by the way. I hunt kind of hunt hacktivists not really i mean i'm i'm more concerned about hunting predators sexual predators and see not even drug dealers like if i if i were to come across evidence of someone dealing drugs i'd be like whoops never mind but you know sexual predator yeah boom like that's why and that's what my professor does like you know the one that taught me computer science or cybersecurity. that's what he does he hunts perverts all day now, now I'm saying people acting in perverted ways, because again, the last episode we were talking about how to fix pedophilia in the church, and that whole not a drag queen thread on Twitter is basically pointing out that, wait a minute, all of these like dangers to kids, 
they're not coming from the people that are dressing up in drag. And yeah, no, like, I mean, Monty Python talked about uh, in the, no, this one's the life of Brian. They talk about, there's a scene where Loretta, which is a guy, wants to be known as a woman. And then, and John Cleese is like, what, what, how ridiculous, you're not a woman. And he's like, but what if I want to be? And it was like, okay, and even this is back in like the 70s, the 80s, I, I think. I want to say 80s, but it could be even as late as the 70s. Um, anyways, this comedy group, talking about all of the things that make sense. You know, just and joking about it, but then at the same time, like, sometimes the jokes, and I, I imagine they had so many weird looks, like, when they just, like, have people watch it, and then they'd say something like, I don't get it. Like, and say something super racist or super inconsiderate or super unkind or, or super whatever. Like, just very eye-popping and then be like, well, wow, ridiculous. And then, and that further fuels, um, so now we're talking about, oh, more material, more fodder for the comedy canon. Like, you know, oh, that even just made me think of the base canon too with like, uh, who was that? Flux Pavilion. Oh, look, we got a, we got a, whatever those things are. Uh, an Illager Outpost. Yeah, okay. So, ooh, actually, no, let's go see if there's an LA or whatever they're called, or an ally. So, and these things are peppered throughout all the world. I think we've come across them before. I don't actually see anything in there, in the cage. It might need to be out of peaceful, so, eh, whatever. I'm not too worried about it. Wait, where? Oh, no, I am supposed to kind of go that way. I need to go back a little bit just to make sure I don't lose that little bit, like a peninsula hanging down, of the fog of war. That's how I knew it, playing StarCraft and WarCraft growing up. But that was all we had. Like, we had StarCraft, WarCraft, GoldenEye, um, things like that. <laughs> like, um, Perfect Dark came out, which was like GoldenEye, GoldenEye 2.0. Oh, Yeah. And now people have the Fortnites and kids like your. I always hated it when I was playing Grand Theft Auto and some little six year old would kill me or something. I'd be like, "What? It's past your bedtime, kid. Go to bed." And like, and or I'd feel bad too because if I was talking like, you know, and, and mind you, I'd be drinking a lot like while playing Grand Theft Auto, so I'd be like slurring my words, like, um, you know, like saying really stupid things. And and, and God forbid, like, what if I was, you know, uh, a Catholic priest? You're playing video games like that's scary as hell all hell <laughs> literally but and again the way we fix that is legalizing adult sex work prostitution that's all we have to do is we have to have basically dolomite so anyone who's heard snoop dogs top dog no or no it's not top dog no limit that's like uh, um no it's um or is it top dog no limit yeah sorry whenever i say no limit i feel like um there, there's this other rapper that does a bunch of no limit stuff and that's not it. He's got like the tank and like, oh, I can't remember any of that. But um, no, Snoop Dogg is one of my first CDs. And it was a uh, Dolomite was a skit that Snoop Dogg did. And it wasn't even Snoop Dogg's voice. It was some other guy. He's like, Dolomite for your president. How do somebody ask me how I stand on marijuana? Very high, baby. Very high. How do I stand on mar uh, How do I stand on prostitution? I don't stand on it. I lay on it. I'm gonna legalize selling everything. Sell it. Sell it. Sell your. And he goes on and saying some like stuff I don't want to say on TV. But those are the points. It's like he was talking about legalizing prostitution and cannabis, or adult sex work and cannabis. See, there we go. We can whitewash that, you know. And it's okay when we do it, but we acknowledge when we do it. Just like the Old Testament and the New Testament. Like, okay, the Old Testament was like bat shit crazy. Sorry, bat stuff crazy. I need to edit these things. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, it's not made for kids. So there you go. There's my disclaimer. And YouTube hasn't actually flagged me for profanity yet. So I want to say, but that is the phrase is bat stuff crazy. See, <laughs> and I, I enforce it. I make my kids, they can't say adult words. They're not allowed. So, huh? Yep. And that's my parenting tip or parenting hack. If you want to call it that. Oh no, you poor, you poor people. You, you keep your stuff. All right. Plus, I'm actually almost done. Oh, these cherry cheese. These villagers have it. Oh. Yes. That is nice. Oh, and some books. A lectern. Yeah, really, I don't really need to. I'm at the point in this game where I don't need to colonize anymore. I don't need to take resources from other places unless I'm digging up a mine. 
And so right there, well, well, that's what China's trying to do with Africa. Like they're building all this really cool stuff, but then they're also mining a bunch of stuff. Well, yeah, think about it. How do they get the stuff to pay for the stuff? And how do they get the resources to build the stuff? Like it doesn't just come out of thin air. Like, I don't know, sorry, that's my like aside critic. Some of the people I've been talking with on, on the Twitters, how am I going to do this? Hmm. Oh, okay, I do have some. I will leave my mark. The mark of the too lazy to walk around. <laughs> so this is altering the landscape. So now I just made a very unsafe bridge in a community which could lead to death. Oh man, now that I'm saying it like that. Wait. Wait. Okay, here's what we're going to do. See? Put my money where my mouth is. Actually, got to be careful. And then... And be mindful of where it's ending. There we go. <laughs> I took the time and the effort, so all of that to say... I did not want to walk around, but I'm human, and anyone else traveling... Okay, now this is like a dead end, so we'll actually leave it decayed like that. Make sure they're safely over that, and then, oop, bridge to be finished some other time. So, anyways. Because uh, Minecraft is so useful at examining macro society, or macro sociology, or macro psychology, or macro behavioral psychology. I right, see there we go again. All right, this time. Geronimo. <laughs> okay, that is kind of fun. We got to do it every now and then. But I can also tower up. This one didn't look too bad. See, now we've got the chimes and the dings and ah, this game is so awesome. And they're continually improving. Like we got cherry blossom trees now. We got a whole new wood type. I want to look at See, and that's the thing. We have a whole new wood type. And we're in the city texture pack. So this could be the first time that a lot of people are seeing what cherry wood looks like. Oh, all right. Yes. Today. We will see what it looks like today. Oh, and that's the thing, too. So if you want to fast forward and go see what it looks like, you can. But we're going to finish out this map. And I think we'll make it without looking at the time. I want to say it's like 15. Okay, let's look at it. 22 okay probably next episode we'll see what cherry wood looks like but i don't know does it take us eight minutes to finish off this and then we're on our way to the island all right that's it we can make the cherry wood at the island that'll be the plan <clears throat> this shall be the land of the cherry groves and then we'll replicate it so it's here at our our base our think about the u.s with our military bases everywhere i mean it's scary if you don't understand what's going on oh new world order <laughs> so it's kind of funny it's like the kids go off to college and then they come back and they take over the house um, not really no they were not trying to do that and I have no authority to say any of this I mean I don't and if that's actually what we're doing uh, that was just a lucky guess on my part but uh, sorry now I'm all worried like oh geez because we also have a contingency for zombies I've heard that said and whether it's true or not like already I'm pretty sure it is true because you know, I'm a person, I would want to make sure that in the event of this, are we prepared? I mean, because what else are we doing all the time? Like, you know, what is government doing if not trying to brainstorm and think tank and figure out how to protect humanity from all of these different things? And of course, how to protect the country first and then, but now that we realize that there's plenty of resources to go around, like we're even talking about colonizing Mars now, and that's just the natural flow of humanity. Like, and God forbid, like, or whatever creator forbid that we get taken out by a massive meteorite, Armageddon, that movie Armageddon back in the day with Bruce Willis. Yeah, that's what happens is like there's a giant asteroid headed to Earth and people put aside their petty differences. They pool all their money together and they send this, at least America does. I don't know. Like, I think other countries were involved in it, too. But it was an American flight team. So it was kind of like a pat on our back for winning the space race or whatever. But anyways, um, and even then, like the asteroid is going to kill everybody, not just Russia, not just America, but everybody. So, yeah. 
that's why silly things like the space race back in the day they need to just go away like i mean and i get it like i feel like we cheated um i think we robbed russia but what are we gonna do about it like you know i mean like that's why i don't know i mean Human nature is to break someone's kneecaps if you're like competing against them and and that's just like okay again not trying to justify the behavior and we punished her for breaking someone's kneecaps it, it was an ice skater back in like the 80s or 90s um that she was competing and she broke this uh actually i think or she at least attacked her i don't know if she actually did but the thing is oh you're trying to take my boat eh <laughs> trying to play basically um anyways no it was a, and that was human behavior uh it wasn't desired behavior but it was human behavior she was not some ocelot she was not some gorilla she was not some devil she was not some witch you know and that's why i love monty python because they have that in the holy grail um the the night one basically um they have a scene where they're trying to burn a witch and it's just a woman that for whatever reason and and they go through the ridiculous thought process of all right so first off let's get some planks we got cherry wood we could do oh look at that get a stack of planks oh that is oof i like that i mean it's a little bright but i don't know i know my daughter's gonna love that it's also why i get the crying obsidian because like just different colors and like i mean you know this might be a little more girly but or feminine See, not even girly, too, because we have you know, cross-dressers, we have transsexuals, we have effeminate men. Like, I mean, it's not, it's nothing new, either. I mean, and the whole homosexuality, the homosexuality thing, too. That's why it's interesting with, like, the Arabic countries. I think it's still, like, you could be put to death for being gay, or you could at least be prisoned or fined. And in Russia, same thing. Like, you can be arrested for being gay, I want to say. Like, that... that time that that song came out that was all like take me to church ah, blah, 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 blah. No, i'm just kidding but that song um i don't want to get copyright infringement because i sound just like him. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> oh geez well, let's not make a chest out of it let's do this do oh wait no that's the i have a chest why do I have a chest? I'm so confused. I think I took the chest from the pirate ship, maybe? I, I, I do remember looting a chest now. But anyways, so I didn't want to ruin the chest. But also, let's... um. Hmm. Okay, first things first. We need to convert this. I'll put it like there. 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 And something far away, but not in competition. Here. And yeah. it's too crowded. Plus, I need some wood. And these trees are a dime a dozen. But I could still plant a couple of these as well. I was gonna add some more, but for now I want to clear this out. Yeah. And I'm gonna terraform this island. So yes, I, I did colonize this place i started changing the the landscape anyway by building these structures and these might be seen as trash by the locals but there aren't any locals here so this is un, an uninhabited area currently now see that's the problem with native americans and american history and culture is they were there were a lot of nomadic tribes and what that means is is yeah they lived there but they moved around just as the buffalo move around i mean it was just common sense like oh hey i mean you know, our food's leaving, our source of shelter's leaving, like, we gotta follow them, but not too closely, and let them live, and they did, they lived in, you know, harmony with nature, to where they could sustain their populations, and they were fine, and that's why, <coughs> oh, wait, and I follow a couple of natives on Twitter, and engage with their stuff, Although, granted, they do a lot of heavily political stuff, which is understandable, too. I mean, they're kind of, they have some stake in this. They have their reservations. They have their, and, and just right there, they have their reservations. Like, that is a common concern. Hmm. 
Let's see that. Let's leave that stack there for now. We're going to do more. And then we can make a door. Whew, a trap door. A um, couple fences. Ooh. And what else can we make with this stuff? Buttons. I don't know. But it is very pink. So, I mean, I just want to see what it looks like. Trying to think if I want some different. That would be a trip. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. All right. We're going to make the door on a golden block. And that way we could. Oh, there's a tree. So we have our first cherry blossom tree. Oh, and a good place to stop. All right, let's stop that. And then let's do another one because, like. Well, no, let's, um, let's actually do this real quick. So basically what I was saying is like, we're going to have a door somewhere over here and we can destroy everything else. But for the door, I mean, we can just rebuild where the door is. There we go. And we can even do cherry pressure plate. Um, two of them. So what I was thinking is like in the future and see right there, I'm going to have to break that block and that block. But now I have an automatic door for a house that I can build on this island to make it Cherry Blossom Island and we'll just renovate. I mean, yeah, there's got some like evil demonic looking thing like that. But we could change that. Although you got to be careful. You can't put fire next to wood because it'll burn. So anyways, that's it for now. I will see you in a bit. To the next one. Ta-ta.